Hi Idea Labbers and welcome back to another episode of iCam by Idea Lab Kids. My name is Mabast and today we're going to be creating a wobble bot. Um, so for the wobble bot you will need dome shaped lid, a, a CD, um, you, could, you could recycle that CD, um, a recycled CD or um, or you know any CD that you're not using uh, a, a switch an on and off switch like this any switch could be used even if you don't have a switch we can still do this project um, some tape some clear tape or or um, some electric tape it it, it, it wouldn't matter um, some battery holders bat battery pack um, of battery holders there's two double a batteries inside of here and it also has a switch on its own so if your a battery holder has a switch then that's perfect you don't have to use that uh, but i'm going to show you all the ways uh, we will need a 1.6 to 3 volt um, dc motor and we're um, you will uh, for decoration purposes i've included some pipe cleaners and some googly eyes and you will need a pencil with the rubber so we would need the rubber part of that pencil you can use any kind of rubber and just make sure that you will make it um, smaller so you will have it this specific size um, hot glue gun um, some extra glue stick and then you need um, a wire stripper to strip off your your wires for the motor and the the battery pack so um, let's go right into it so firstly, we're going to start with your pencil. Um, we're going to take out that rubber. We can just pull it. And if you can't pull it, um, you can use your um, wire stripper on the top or a needle nose plier. Um, and you can just pull it like that. OK, so just like that. Um, but now I could pull mine out. So, you know, easily um, I will use that later. Then we'll um, get our motor and we're gonna go ahead and strip off the the cable so I already did mine um, they are uh, what I used is that I, I used the 0.6 um, uh, millimeter gap to strip a wire and there we go I got some more as you can see I've stripped off some um, so that way and then twist your wire properly so we can use it and twist it to another wire later on. So there we go. Now, if your motor is not wired like mine, you can wire your motors just the same way. Just put the wires through the little hole that it has on the motor. Um, use the same, if you want to use the same colored wire, it's fine. Um, there's no positive or negative um, in here. Both sides could be positive, both sides could be negative. So right now I made my if you hold the motor like this, I made the left side negative and the right side positive. And that way it will spin the motor clockwise. If you reverse it, it will spin it the other way around. Um, different motors have different outputs as well. So then we'll hold our CD, we'll bring our CD and then we will put um, whichever side you would like to put your um, creation on I would like to put it on this side just because it's glowy and it's nice so I'm gonna hot glue my motor right into there so I'm gonna put some glue around the disc on the hall just making sure that it will hold my my motor properly like this and then I'll try to glue around the motor so it will hold it in its place and it won't come off. All right. And be extra careful around your glue um, because the nozzle is very hot. There we go. So I've attached my motor. Then on the other side, of it, I am going to go ahead and attach my rubber. I'm going to make this a little bit shorter, and actually, um, just for the sake of it not to wobble too much, so I'm going to make it half, uh, and I'm going to use this half and attach to my motor. Um, hold it from this side and then push it through. 
right? Don't be shy, you can push it through until it kind of sticks there. Um, so, but don't let the, the, the nose, the pin comes out. So keep it like that. And there we go. Uh, we have our CD and the motor attached on the top of it, okay? Um, then next we're gonna go ahead and put our batteries in our battery packs. I already added my batteries in my battery pack. Um, so use your batteries and put them in the battery pack and then um, let's, and then we'll, we'll attach it to your motor on either side of the motor. So which side, whichever side you prefer, you can add it on. Um, I'll try to put it on this side because this has a little breathing gap for the motor. So just not to overheat it, I'm gonna put it on the other side. Um, and I will either tape it or um, hot glue it in place, it's up to you. So I'm gonna do, um, actually let's do some tape for this time. And I'm going to go ahead and tape my motor, um, my battery pack on the motor. Just like that. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it with the cutting edge of my, um, my rice sticker. And I will attach the rest of it on. Um, okay. So, so far I have the, the battery pack attached on my um, CD along with the, with the motor, okay? So um, next in line would be adding the switch. Now, if you don't have the switch um, and you don't have access to a switch, then that's fine. We can just put the red wires together and the black wires together and that will turn on your motor right away so you won't be able to turn it off until you disattach the wires uh, but here we're gonna use um, this switch so the switch I prefer to put it on the positive side of the um, the wires which is the red wires and I will go ahead and attach the, the, the black wires together just like that and twist them around each other and then I will bend it onto each other, just like this, okay? And keep it far away from the other wire. Um, then I'm gonna use this part and put it onto the, the switch that we have. So put one wire onto one leg of the switch. Um, just make sure you twist your wire properly. Twist it around. Okay, so just like that. I'm twisting my wire in place. For the other side, the same thing. I'm gonna add it to the other side of this. So if I turn it on, my motor should come on. There we go. And now, with that note, we're gonna go ahead and to the decoration mode um, and put our dome lid on the top of everything else. So putting your switch through the gap here, um, just like that. And then you can either decide to hot glue this in place or put your um, tape on around it. So I am gonna go ahead and um, use the tape Just try not to use too much hot glue um, for safety purposes okay, So once you add it your tape around your dome um, now you're ready to to give it a test Press on one side of the motor when you're putting it down. So, just like that. Our 
So just like that, our uh, robot will be able to wobble. So this time we're gonna go ahead and start our decoration. So we're gonna put some um, googly ice on. Um, so let's just add some googly ice. Onto our robot, one on this side, the other one is another side and you're more than welcome to get more creative that and you're welcome to get more creative at it than I am so we're gonna get your pipe cleaner and bend it once and twice within the same size same length of all the sides and then we're gonna cut it in two places one we're gonna cut it from this loop Okay, and the other side we're gonna cut it right here. There we go. Now we've got ourselves four um, pipe cleaners. So we're gonna make those arms, we're gonna twist them around each other, just like this. Um, and that gives us two fingers of the, the robot. So we're going to do the same thing for the other side. There we go. We've got two. We're going to bend a little bit on this side so we can glue it onto our robot. Um, we've got two arms and we'll put them and attach them on. So let's apply some hot glue. Be careful with your fingers. Apply some hot glue on here. And also, well, let's attach this part. We're gonna, I'm gonna add it on here. Just like that. And I'll try to wait until it's cool enough. Do not touch it when it's hot. Wait for it a little bit until it cools down. You can simply tape those in there as well if you wish. I usually like using hot glue a lot. I'm gonna do that to the other side while we're waiting for that side to cool off. sure to wait until it cools off properly give you a better look at it And so there we go. We've got ourselves our bubble bot. So to give it a test, I'm gonna put these a little bit back down inside and hold my switch right here so it doesn't move around that much. And I'm gonna give it, turn it on and put it down. There we go. <laughs> So that would be it for Wobblebot and feel free to go wild in your decorations and get more creative and post your um, pictures down below in the comment section um, so I can give you a reshare and repost. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this post and um, tune in for our next episodes coming up. Thank you so much for joining and you guys have a good rest of the day.